Dear learners, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. To subscribe my channel, please press the bell icon shown below so that you can get notifications of my latest uploads. Dear learners, today we are going to learn what is price elasticity of demand. The law of demand shows only the direction of change in quantity demanded due to change in the price of the commodity. Law of demand does not tell us by how much or to what extent the quantity demanded of a commodity changes in response to a change in its price. This concept of to what extent the quantity demanded changes due to change in the price is explained through elasticity of demand. Generally, elasticity of demand means price elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand tells to what extent the quantity demanded of a commodity changes due to the change in the price of the commodity, income of the consumer and price of related goods. These three are the most important factors which influences the demand. Therefore, there are three types of elasticity of demand. Namely, price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand. In this video, we will see what is price elasticity of demand and what are the degrees of price elasticity of demand. Moving to price elasticity of demand, the first one price elasticity of demand, what does price elasticity of demand mean? Price elasticity of demand tells you that to what extent the demand, quantity demanded of a commodity changes due to the change in the price of the commodity. It is measured by percentage change in demand divided by percentage change in price. And the minus sign before the formula, it indicates that there is inverse relationship between demand and price. If demand increases, price decreases. If demand decreases, price increases. Let's see what is perfectly elastic demand. The first degree is perfectly elastic demand. A slight, a slight change in price produces an infinitive change in demand, which is being written as E equals to infinitive. E equals to infinitive. What does this mean? A slight rise in price, it may make the quantity demanded fall down to zero or a slight fall in price make an infinitive rise in the quantity demanded. For example, take an example of gold. If price of, the go go if price of gold falls, a sudden rush can be witnessed in the jewelry shops. And if price of gold increases, you can witness a very few or none visiting the shop, which I tried to explain with the help of a graph. In case of perfectly elastic, O Y axis indicate the price, indicate the price of the commodity, indicate the price of the commodity, and O X axis indicates the quantity demanded of the commodity. What it is showing that at the prevailing price of rupees four, the customer the consumer is ready to buy 10 number of units, 20 number of units, 30 number of units or n number of units. But when the price falls down to 2, now the prevailing price is rupees 4 and in case if the price falls down to rupees 2, further you can see that there is an infinitive change in the demand of the consumer. Now at the prevailing price the consumer is buying 10, 20, 30. In case if the price falls down from 4 rupees to 2 rupees, the consumer can buy n number of units. It means what? There will be infinitive change in the demand of the consumer. In the, at the same time, if the price increases from 4 rupees to 6 rupees, 4 rupees to 6 rupees, you can see that there is a chance that the demand of the consumer may fall down to 0. They may not be buying any number of units. As I have given the example of gold, in case if the price of gold increases, what will happen? The consumer will um, try to wait for the future period of time when the price of the particular commodity is coming down. They do not want to spend more money. They are expecting that tomorrow the price will come down. At that time, they will be buying more number of units. That's why in case of perfectly elastic demand, 
the demand curve CD. CD is the demand curve and the demand curve is parallel to this demand curve CD. It is parallel to OX axis. It is parallel to OX axis indicating that a slight fall in price will produce an infinitive change and a slight rise in price will uh, make the demand fall down to zero. It means, where, it means that the consumer will not be demanding any number of units in case if the price increases from the prevailing market price is what perfectly elastic demand. Yeah, moving to the next topic, next degree known as perfectly inelastic demand, just the opposite of the one which we have seen in the first uh, uh, degree known as perfectly elastic, just all the opposite of that. In that there is an infinitive change, in case of perfectly inelastic demand there is no change in the demand irrespective of change in price, even if the price increases or even if the price decreases there is no change in the demand of the consumer. A perfectly inelastic demand is one in which a change in price causes no change in the demand of the consumer. It means what even the price increases or decreases it makes no difference for the consumer. They are, uh, it, uh, the, the, the quantity demanded by the consumer it remains the same irrespective of uh, whether the price increases or decreases. Yeah. This is very clear with the help of this uh, graph uh, uh, through figure 2.2 which shows perfectly inelastic demand where OX axis shows the quantity demanded, this OX axis shows the quantity demanded and OY axis shows the price. You can see that when the price increases from 2 rupees to 4 rupees, then 4 rupees to 6 rupees, the demand remains the same. They were purchasing the same number of units when price was 2, they were, they were purchasing same number of units when the price increases from rupees 2 to 6, there is no change. Hence, the elasticity of demand is 0, the elasticity of demand is 0. The next degree of price elasticity of demand is unitary elastic demand. What is unitary elastic demand? Unitary elastic demand is one in which a given percentage change in price it produces an equal percentage change in demand which means that in case if the price if the price decreases by 10 percent which means that the demand will increase by 10 percent which is equal to 1 that is why it is known as unitary elastic demand because E is equal to 1 it, uh, and uh, earlier I have told you about this minus sign which indicates that there is an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. If one increases, the other decreases if uh, and vice versa. So, in this graph, so in this graph, it shows the unitary elastic demand where E is equal to 1. You can see that when the price decreases, for example, when the price decreases by 5 percent, here you can see that it is increasing by 5 percent, it is increasing by 5 percent, it is decreasing by 5 percent, both are equal, hence elasticity of demand is equal to 1 and this is a case of unitary elastic demand. Moving to the next degree known as greater than unitary elastic demand, greater than unitary elastic demand. Greater than unitary elastic demand means what? Greater than unitary, unitary which means uh, E is greater than 1, E is greater than 1. It is one in which a given percentage change in price produces relatively more percentage change in demand which means that in case if there is 5 percentage increase in price, there will be 20 percentage decrease in demand. It may be anything, it may be 6 percent, but it should be more than 5 percent. Greater than unitary elastic demand is one in which a given percentage change in price produces relatively a more percentage change in demand. For example, 5 percentage, 5 percentage fall in price is followed by 20 percentage increase in demand. The percentage change in price, the percent, a given percentage change in price comparatively more than that 
you can uh, witness a change in case of quantity demanded wherein in that case what happens is elasticity of demand is more than 1 elasticity of demand is more than 1. See the graph graph of uh, greater than unitary elastic uh, demand this is 5 percentage fall in price this is the uh, 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 o y axis which indicates the price of the commodity and this is o x axis which indicates the quantity demanded by a consumer when the price falls by 5 percent what happens the demand increases by 20 percent this 20 percent is more than 5 percent so it is a case of greater than unitary elastic demand you can see total is 4 4 is greater than 1 next one is less than unitary elastic demand just uh, the opposite of the one which we have seen in case of uh, greater than unitary elastic demand less than unitary elastic demand is one in which a given percentage change in price produces a less percentage change in demand which means that in case if there is 10 percentage fall in price there will be 5 percentage rise in demand you can see the 10 percentage fall in price there is 5 percentage rise in demand which is less than 1 which is less than 1 which uh, can be more clear with the help of this graph you can see that the fall in demand the arrow for the fall in demand is comparatively bigger when compared to quantity demanded uh, arrow for example if it is 20 percent fall in price only 10 percent or 5 percent the price uh, demand is increasing which shows that elasticity of demand is less than 1 on the base of the formula elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price this is the very important concept which we should keep in mind in order to find out whether it is unit elastic less than unit elastic or more than unit elastic as it is in case of perfectly elastic perfectly elastic means what there will be infinite change we cannot judge what is going to happen at the prevailing price consumers may be buying n number of units in case if the price reduces again there will be an infinite uh, increase in the demand of the uh, in the uh, increase in the quantity demanded of the consumer and in case if the price increases the consumer will think of not buying it even where they were buying n number of units and it has fall down to zero because of what because of in, so in that case it is known as perfectly elastic we cannot judge about the demand of that particular commodity and uh, perfectly inelastic there is no uh, change in the demand irrespective of uh, increase or decrease in the price of the commodity it is particularly in case of essential goods it is particularly in case of essential goods like salt if the price of salt increases it does not mean that um, and we would not be buying in, even if the price uh, even if the price of the salt decreases we would not be buying less number of units because those uh, commodities are coming under essential commodities and essential commodities will be buying on the basis of our requirement only not more and even not less it means what the price is not at all determining the demand of that particular commodity thank you we will see in the next video bye